In this short movie we're going to look at applying a new wall finish to an existing wall element as part of a renovation project. Here we can see the new extension at the rear of the property and if we take a cutting plane through that extension the wall is currently being shown with the previous wall finish, just the brick surface. Going to the floor plan display we can select the wall and go into the design extras and select the wall accessories so these need to be installed in advance and select the wall finish object. This includes settings to offset the top and base connections as well as the side connections and angles and we can also enter the correct thickness for that wall finish. Clicking on the correct side of that wall will place the finish on the required side and then the hotspots can be used to drag that to the correct position and chamfer if required. We'll also zoom to the opposite end of the wall and ensure that the connection is correct there too. Going back into the 3D window we can see that that wall is now positioned correctly with the correct wall finish and that also includes a hole that's been cut out for that existing door. Going back to the existing layout that finish is still being displayed so what we can do is set that to new construction and that means it will disappear from the existing layout but will still be visible within the planned layout drawings. Going back into the object settings we can look at the floor plan display settings and these are pretty similar to what you get in the wall elements so we can display whether they're shown just at the cut plane height, whether we can see the projection and overhead and also how the windows are displayed in the floor plan drawings.